Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss about the text mining. Let's start with the introduction. Text mining is an art and science of discovering knowledge, insights and patterns from an organized collection of textual databases. Here from the huge collection of the databases, we are going to identify the knowledge, insights and the patterns important patterns we are going to collect based on that we are going to do the analysis of the data it is going to help to analyze the frequency of important terms and their semantic relationship here it is going to analyze the how many number of times the ter particular term has occurred in the text document and what is the relationship between the uh, we, uh, that word term with the other terms take an example here ice cream how many times that ice cream term has occurred and what is the relationship between the ice cream and the hot weather there that we have to analyze here it can be applied to large scale of social media data for gathering and measuring emotional sentiments and also to social it organizational and individual scales sources of this text mining are business or a non business domains it accepts the text as an input and then it is going to take the input in the form of a word document pdfs xml files text message etc these are going to become an input for the this text mining. The examples of the text mining. Many examples are there. Few we are going to see how the documents are going to be represented for the particular examples. We will take a first one legal profession. The, for this one the text sources would include a law, court deliberations, court orders. Academic research. It is going to include the text of interviews, published researches, articles. Next one is the word of finance. Will include the such reports, internal reports, CFO statements and more information. Next in the medicine. <coughs> it includes the medical journals, patient history, discharge summaries. Next in the marketing. It includes the advertisement, customer comments. Next, a word of technology and search. It would include page, patent applications, the whole information of the world wide web and all other things. Here, yeah, these are the some of the examples. Next, we will see the applications. Text mining applications. Here text mining is a useful tool in the hand of chief knowledge officers to extract the knowledge relevant to an organization. Text mining can be used across industry sectors and application areas including decision support, sentiment analysis, fraud detection, survey analysis and many more. We will start the first one marketing. In the marketing, the voice of the customer can be captured in its native and raw formats, then analyzed for customer preferences and complaints. Here, customer input from the social media. We are going to take a customer input from the social media, such as reviews, blogs, and tweets, which contains a numerous leading indicators that can be used toward anticipating and predicting the customer behavior. Listening platform. It is one type of a text mining application that in real time gathers the social media, blog and other textual feedbacks and filters out the charted to text extract true customer sentiments. The insights can lead to more effective product, product marketing and better customer services. Next one, a customer call center conservation and records. This can be analyzed for patterns 
absence of a customer complaints decision tree can organize this data to create a decision choices that will help a product management activities and proactively avoid the complaints based on this informations next in the business operations many aspects of a business functioning can be accurately gauged from analyzing text first we'll discuss the social network analysis of a employee see social network analysis and text mining can be applied to mails blogs social media and other data to measure the emotional states and the moods of employee populations sentiment analysis can reveal early signs of employee dissatisfaction which can then be proactively managed next is a study people emotions for investment studying people as a emotional investors and use a text analysis for the social internet to measure a mass physiology can help in obtaining a superior investment returns see here in the investment whenever you want to invest in the stock marketing you have to study the people patterns based on that one you can achieve a good success next in the legal a legal application lawyers and judges can more easily search case histories and laws for relevant documents in the particular case to improve their chance of winning in that one first one e discovery platform a text mining is also an embedded in e discovery platform that helps in minimizing the risk in the process of sharing legally mandated documents case history testimonies and the client meeting notes can reveal uh, additional informations using that one you can decide what is the you can predict the high cost injuries and prevent the costs and you can guess the better correct decisions based on these things governance and the politics the government can be overturned based on a tweet originating from a self information social network analysis and text mining of large scale social media data can be used for measuring the emotional states and the mood of constituent population micro targeting constituents with specific message from social media analysis can be a more efficient use of resources when fighting democratic elections whenever you are going to fight in the democratic elections you have to see the social media information how many people are going for one party and how many people are going for another party based on this analysis you can decide that you can win the election or not in the democratic elections next is a geopolitical security internet chatters can be produced processed for real time information and to connect the dots on any emerging threats in academic research streams could be meta analyzed for underlying research trends these are all the things we can do in the governance and politics these are the few text mining applications we have listed next we'll go for the text mining process here the text mining is a rapidly evolving area of research the amount of social media and other text data grows as efficient abstraction and categorization of a meaningful information from the text is needed there is a need for efficient abstraction and categorization of a meaningful information from the text 
so this process is going to be divided it is a, this process is a semi automated process it is divided into a three level process first level is identifying the frequent words this creates a bag of important words text documents or similar messages can then be ranked on how they match to a particular bag of words there are challenges with this approach for example the words may be spelled a little differently or there may be different words with a similar meaning that may that problem may occur here in the second level is identifying meaningful phrases from the words see here ice and the cream will be a two different keywords that often come together there is a more meaningful phrase by combining these two words like a ice cream see there are there might be a similarity meaningful phrases like a apple pie you have to identify those words and you have to phrase the meaningful words in the next level next higher level is a topics multiple phrases are combined into a some topics thus the two phrases above can be put into a common basket and this basket is called as a desert same phrases are going to be combined and we are going to keep in one baskets that you can do these are the three text mining processes we'll discuss how the architecture is there the text mining architecture will work here in the text mining architecture there are three steps are there first one is a establish the corpus of text structure using term document matrix that is tdm and next one is a mine tdm for patterns we we'll start with the first one the text and documents are first gathered into a corpus and organized first next one the corpus is then analyzed for structure this result is a matrix mapping important terms to source documents last a structured data is then analyzed for word structures sequences and frequencies how exactly it works means in the first step it is going to gather the documents clean the documents prepare for analysis in the next one it is going to structure it is going to select a bag of words compute the frequency of occurrences how many times the particular term has occurred that we are going to compute in the tdm in the next one we are going to apply the data mining tools like classification cluster analysis to get our results this is the text mining architecture next is a how exactly the term document matrix works the main process of text mining is this term document matrix here the text data is transformed into a numeric data which can then be mined using a regular data mining techniques like clustering analysis association analysis like this first identify a key terms keyword phrases or a topic from the text of interest then measure the frequency of terms occurring in each document this will create a t into d that is term by document matrix where t is the number of terms and the d is the number of documents see here how exactly it is going to be formed this is a term a document by term matrix here this is a term investment profit happy success these are the terms here these are the documents here in the document 1 the investment word is occurred 10 times in the next one this is 10 times it has occurred profit occurred 4 times happy 3 times successful 4 times 
this is going to indicate that if person is investing money then he will earn the profit he will be happy and he will be success in the document 2 a uh, investment word is occurring seven times the profit is two times happy two times it may be not a till a success so he has not used the success word like this we are going to be relating the documents and the words and we are going to based on these information we are going to analyze the sentiments of the persons next how exactly the creating the tdm we are going to see this one identifying the term from the large collection of the documents and combine the synonyms identifying the terms from the large collection of the documents that are going to be mapped to a large bag of words will likely to lead to a very sparse matrix if they have a few common words reducing the dimensionality of data will help to improve the speed of analysis and meaningfulness of the results next combine the synonyms if the terms are different words are the different terms are there and different terms are going to give a similar meaning then we have to combine those terms into a single terms or a common terms this will reduce the number of distinct terms of words or a tokens next a data should be cleaned for a spelling errors common spelling error should be ignored and the term should be combined upper case lower case term should be combined next when many variants of the same term is used that terms of the word should be used to reduce the number of terms if the many variants are there then you have to combine all those variant into a single variant ordering ordering order customer order order data this is going to be combined to a single order this is a combining the variant of the terms next homonyms should be counted separately the similar words with the different meanings should be counted separately this would enhance the quality of analysis we'll take a one example here the boss ordered that the customer orders data analysis be presented in chronological order here in all the way the order meaning is different though you have to understand what is the meaning of that order then you have to count that one next a document should be removed if the term terms occurrences is less which will reduce the density of the matrix if the particular terms occurs very few times then you have to reduce that term you have to remove that docu document that will reduce the density of the tdm matrix add the measures count log of numbers fractions binaries in each cell of the matrix based on the purpose of the text analysis see here if you are using that one for the simple count the number of occurrences of each term in the document is going to be mentioned based on your application need you have to use this thing at the end of this analysis and cleaning a well formed densely populated rectangular tdm will be ready for analysis then we are going for applying the mining on this collected data next we will go for the mining mining the tdm mining the tdm here already many my data mining techniques we know any one data mining techniques we have to apply to get the data let's start with the visualization a sim this is a simple application it is used to visualize the highest frequency terms 
This can be done very attractively and colorfully in the term, in the form of word count. The word count can be created after removing the common words like a prepositions. It can be done for the top n words such as a top 100 words to focus on the key terms used in the document. Next one is a predictor of desirable terms could be discovered through predictive techniques such as a regression analysis. Suppose the word profit is a desirable word in the document. The number of occurrences of the word profit in the document could be regressed against many other terms in the TDM. The relative strengths of the coefficients of various predictor variables could show the relative impact of those terms on creating a profit discussions. Next, predicting the chance of a document being liked is under form of analysis. For example, important speech made by the CEO or a CFO to investors could be evaluated for quality. If the classification of these documents was available, then the term of TDM could be used to predict the speech class. A decision tree could be constructed that makes a simple tree with a few decision points that predict the success of a speech 80% of the time. This tree could be trained with more data to become better over time. Next is clustering techniques. This clustering technique can help categorize documents by common profiles. For example, documents containing the words investment and profit more often could be bundled together. Similarly, documents contain the words customer or, or customer order and marketing more often could be bundled together. See, if the customer information, marketing, all those informations are there. We are going to combine all, do, all those together. Thus, a few strongly bundled could be captured very easily by this entire TDM. These bundles we are going to use for the further processing, such as a handling over select documents to other for legal discovery. Next one, association rule analysis. This could show relationship of coexistence. Thus, one could say that the words tasty, sweet occur together often. And further, when these two words are present, 70% of the time, the word happy is also present in the document. This is the analysis. Association rule analysis. Next, we'll go for the comparing the text mining and the data mining. See, comparing the text mining and the data mining. Text mining is a form of a data mining only. There are many common elements between the text mining and data mining are there. There are some differences are there. We are going to see those things here. First one, a dimension is a text mining, data mining. A nature of a data. It is a unstructured data. Words, phrases, sentences will be there in the text mining. But in the data mining, numbers, alphabets and the logical values will be there. Language used. Many languages are going to be used here. Dialects used in the world. Many languages are existent. New documents are discovered here. Similar numerical system across the world. Clarity and precision. Sentences can be ambiguous. Sentiment may contradict the words. Numbers are Precise here in the data mining. Consistency. Different parts of the text can contradict each other. 
here different parts of the data can be inconsistent thus acquiring a statistical significance analysis next sentiment here text may present a clear and consistent or mixed sentiment across a continuum spoken words add further sentiment here sentiments are not going to be analyzed in the data mining next quality spelling errors differing values of proper nouns such as a names varying quality of language translation here issues with missing values outliers will be there in the data mining nature of analysis keywords based search coexistence of the themes sentiment mining a full wide range of statistical and machine learning analysis for relationship and differences this is for data mining now we have compared the text mining and data mining next we'll move to the what are the best practices for the text mining see first and foremost one is a important practice is to ask a right question a good question is the one which gives an answer and would lead to a large payoff for the organization the purpose and the key question will define how and at what level of granularity the tdm would be made second one second important is a creative and open in proposing imaginative hypothesis for the solution thinking out of the box is very important both in the quality of the proposed solution as well as in finding the high quality data sets required to test the hypothesized solution next another one is per, to pursue the problem iteratively you have to pursue the problem iteratively too much data can overwhelm the infrastructure and also if you are taking a too less data that will not result you a good answers it is better to divide and conquer the problem with a simpler tdm with a fewer terms and fewer documents and data sources expand as needed in an iterative sequence of steps add a new terms to help improve the predictive analysis next one a variety of data mining tools should be used to test the relationship in the tdm different decision tree algorithms could be run alongside cluster analysis and other technique has to be applied triangulation triangulating the findings with multiple techniques and many what if scenarios helps to build the confidence in the solution test the solution in many ways before committing to deploy it these are the important steps while you are going to do the text mining all of you got to know if you are having any doubts please ask me in the comment section thank you this completes your text mining